Good morning, everyone. Welcome to our morning inspiration. Saturday, August 10, 2024. Our reading today comes to us from Genesis chapter 12, reading from verse 1 to 3. And it says, Now the Lord had said unto Abram, Get thee out of thy country, and from thy kindred, and from thy father's house, unto a land that I will show thee, and I will make of thee a great nation, and I will bless thee, and make thy name great, and thou shalt be a blessing. And I will bless them that bless thee, and curse him that curseth thee, and in thee shall all families of the earth be blessed. And I say, Amen. We thank God this morning for the portion that comes from His Word. Now, as we consider the reading this morning, we see where God called Abraham. And He said unto Abraham, Come out of thy country, and I need you to leave from where your father and your mother I need you to leave where you are and I want you to follow where I will lead you because I have something in store for you. I want to make of you a great nation. I want to bless you beyond your wildest imagination. I want to build you up to make your name great so that you can be a blessing also to others. So when God called Abraham, Abraham did not know where he was going. But God called him and said, I need you to leave. I need you to leave because I have big plans for you. And in order for me to fulfill my plans for your life, you can't stay where you are. And so I want you to leave. And don't worry about where you are going. Because wherever you are, I will protect you. I will bless you and I will keep you. Now, this is comforting to anyone who would hear these words. Because if God have you in the palm of his hand, it therefore means that you are well taken care of. Now, something I want us to consider here is that we too, God is calling us. And what I want us to understand is that many of us, we may feel like, you know, we are not receiving the blessing that we should receive or we are stuck in a runt and, you know, we just can't move backward or forward. But the question I want to ask is this, have you answered the call? And have you considered that maybe the reason why you are stuck in the situation that you are stuck in is because you refuse to leave and to answer the call of God. Have you considered that maybe it is a case where God cannot bless you in your current situation? God cannot bless you where you are. And so in order for him to bless you, in order for, for him to prosper you, in order for him to help you grow and to become what he needs you to be that you would have to leave where you are you would have to leave country you would have to leave family you would have to leave kindred you would have to leave siblings you have to leave possession whatever it is that is an hindrance to you receiving your blessing you would have to leave it behind have you considered and so it is important for us to know that when God calls us, He wants us to heed the call because He's not going to call you and send you into the wilderness to wither and dry. No, if He called you, even if you are going in the wilderness, be sure that He will provide water for you there. Be assured that He will provide your daily bread there. And so it doesn't matter where you may end up, as long as God is leading you, you will be okay. And that is what I want you to understand. And think about it. Abraham could have questioned God, but he did not. 
There is no indication that he questioned God and asked God, why do you want me to leave all of this to go into the unknown? I don't know where I'm going. You don't give me any specification, but you just want me to just get up, leave all of my stuff, leave all of what I have worked so hard for and just go into the middle of nowhere. Abraham didn't do that because Abraham understood that this was God. And the same God who bless him with whatever he has now can even bless him far beyond that. And that was God's intention and purpose. But God needed it to, him to move. God was about to enlarge his territory. He says that what? I will make of thee a great nation. And if you are to be a great nation, this location won't be big enough to accommodate everybody and so i want to take you to a larger location where you can expand and you can become this great nation so when god tell you to move he has a reason for you to move it is because he wants to expand and enlarge your territory but he can't do it where you are right now and so your refusal to move is only standing in the way of your blessing and so don't be stubborn don't question god just move right don't question god i would rather you question anybody else but do not question god because god always have a plan and he has never and will never fail us and i say amen and then he went on to say that look here you may be concerned about you know what may happen to you there wherever you are going but that's none of your concern don't put that on your plate i want you to know that i have already pronounced a blessing on your life and so anyone that bless you i will also extend blessing to them for blessing you and for those who curse you they also will receive curse right and so through your experience, through what I'm about to do for you, all the families of the earth will be blessed. So this blessing that I'm about to, to offer to you is a blessing in extension that I'm offering to the entire world. Okay? And so God is saying, look here, the plans I have for you, they are not empty promises, but they are what I intend to do because I love you and so be encouraged you cannot stay in your current situation at some point you have to move but you only move when God tells you to move you don't move before and you don't move after you move when he says because he's working with his timing not yours and maybe the reason why many of us can't receive the blessing that we should receive is because we don't want to move God is calling us some of us God is actually pulling on us to come to follow him and we just don't want to move because we are so attached to our current location we are so attached to whatever position whatever it is that is holding us back and we just refuse to move because we're afraid of the unknown but hear what i want to say to somebody the unknown is good for you because it is jesus who is leading you into the unknown and if it is jesus leading you into the unknown there can't be anything else but good things waiting for you and so move to the unknown don't remain in your fear don't remain stuck in your current situation step out in faith like abram move forward press towards the mark of that high calling trust god and god will prosper you in ways that you can even not fathom and so god help us to learn to trust him more may he help us to rely on him and to follow where he leads us because his plan for our lives is great. Amen.